Okay, so now we're ready to do a row that increases. This is the dark pink row uh, on the picture that you sent me. So I still need to um, connect at the top of this row and row three. So remember that I said the first stitch was like one in the group of two. So it's half. So I need to make another double crochet in that space where my starting stitch is. And so I will bring that back up here. And then I can chain, uh, not chain, slip stitch it's called, right up here into that space between the two. And so I just pull my stitch all the way through and now I'm joined, okay. So now this is a row that increases. And the pattern here, we'll get uh, a full group and a full group on this row. So I need to chain two to get up to the height that a double crochet would be. And that's the first, counts as the first double crochet in this group. So then I need to do a second double crochet in the same space in between the two double crochets. And now this is going to increase. So it appears to me there's just maybe one chain and then we do two more double crochets in the same stitch. So like this and another one here. So this is going to actually double the stitches. We had uh, 28 in the row before. So if you want to count these, we're, we're going to have 28 of these clusters um, to increase to double that, which would be uh, 56. So I'm just gonna uh, not put a chain in between, but move into my next group, space between two double crochets. And so I will double crochet one, and then double crochet a second one, and then chain stitch, and then do two more double crochets in the same stitch. And so this is going to increase so that it lays flat. All right, so see how I now have two double crochets and a chain, two more double crochets. And then I have another two and a chain and two double crochets. And I'm going to continue that all the way around until I get back to the beginning and then I'll slip stitch to join. So one more time, double crochet in the next space after your two double crochet grouping cluster, they call it when you read a pattern. So there's two. Okay. And then I chain one and then I do two more double crochets. And there. And there. And so now when I lay that down, you can see how that's uh, going to double. And so it's going to continue to lay flat because I'm adding uh, double the row of stitches around here, the number of stitches in the row. And hopefully you can see that pattern. Two doubles, a chain, two doubles. And it's all in the same space. So I'm going to turn this off now and finish the row around. And then I'll start up and show you row one, two, three, four, five. We'll be up to row five on the next video.